From Homedale to Salmon River, District 3 has several teams that don't always get their due. Stepping outside the shadows of the SIC, this is the Treasure Valley PrepCast with Logan Green. That's right. Welcome in a new season of the Treasure Valley PrepCast on IdahoSports.com. Season 2, Episode 1, after a little summer break. Brandon Bainey joined by Logan Green. Logan, what's up? Hey, Brandon. Uh, excited to get started again here, right? That uh, crazy to think football is next a week from today, right? There are football games a week from today and uh, just ready to get ready to get going, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit I'm not quite ready for that, but I will <laughs> I will take it on as it comes. Uh, so I, immediately the first thing that popped into my head is, is we're working on these new intros for, for the prep cast this, uh, for season two, right? We got to do it up a little different. Uh, yeah, we got to get that intro change because, uh, we're no longer right. stepping outside the shadows of the SIC, you know, last year when we did the treasure Valley prep cast. So, so this first podcast of season two is going to be just kind of a refresher on who we are, what we do, and what this weekly prep cast is going to be about. So last year, when we did the Treasure Valley prep cast, uh, each week, you and I, Logan, kind of focused on the 3A, 2A, 1A schools exclusively. Right. And then we had a separate podcast uh, just for those 5A, 4A SIC teams, the Southern Idaho Conference uh, that I did with Wayne DeZubak. Well, Wayne decided to be a big jerk and moved all the way across the country to North Carolina. So right. yeah, we don't have Wayne anymore. So we decided uh, in the off season to kind of consolidate it. So you're, this is where you're going to get all of your district three the news scores, highlights, etc. 5A a all the way down to one a, and we're going to keep it even. We're not, we're not going to let the big schools dominate right. the conversation. Uh, we're not going to, uh, neglect those smaller schools. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit longer of a, of a prep cast each week. Right. So instead of, we're just, we're basically combining it, making it one, but not cutting out any of the other. Right. So we're not going to, you know, cut out the conversations that me and you used to have. We won't cut out the conversations that you and Wayne used to have. We'll just kind of merge them together and give everybody their equal share. Like we've always done. Uh, should be fun. Should be fun. A lot of great teams looking to defend state titles here in district three, especially here in the fall teams looking to get back on top after maybe being knocked down the year before. So there, there is a not, uh, there is not short supply of things to talk about. I guess I'm trying to say there is a lot to be discussed. There's a lot to be discussed before the season and throughout. So it should be a fun ride. Yeah. This past Monday, uh, we're recording this on Friday, August 12th. So Monday, uh, was kind of opening day for for practices, right? Uh, I know some schools in other parts of the state did like a midnight madness thing where they practiced at twelve oh one, you know, right. Light, Lighthouse Christian and like Water Springs over in East Idaho. Um, so practices have started, and next Friday, a week from today, Logan, it is kind of opening day of competition. There's going to be some soccer. There's going to be a couple yeah. of football games. Nothing too crazy, but. It, it starts next week, which is just insane to think about. Yeah, I mean, we have, I guess you could quantify it, um, at least in football terms, that this Friday is kind of week zero. A lot of schools maybe aren't fully yet in. I know Middleton is in. They start Monday. Can't come soon enough for my kids, um, for me or my kids, I guess I should say. Um, but, like, we have a week zero game that we'll be covering here. I think it's a pretty big matchup. I think it's a very interesting matchup between – Middleton and Rocky Mountain. Middleton lost a couple of big pieces from last year in quarterback, Kai McClure. So we'll see how they – and they're stepping up, right? They're moving up to 5A. So we'll see how the Vikings can make that transition up to 5A. Rocky Mountain, a lot of pundits say this is the team to beat, right? I think a lot of people like what the Grizzlies have to offer this year. Uh, so that's a big game. We'll be there broadcasting. Should be fun. You'll have to check that one out on Idaho Sports. Um, and then you look down the road a little bit further – um, next Friday, and you got Homedale welcoming in Laguna Beach. Like, where did that come from, right? You know, there's def there's been other California teams come up here before um, to, like, the Rocky Mountain Rumble, things like that. But uh, a name, like, that resonates in people's mind, like a Laguna Beach coming to Homedale, uh, you don't see it very often. And I did see Homedale got new turf this year, which I'm kind of excited to see. We usually go out there and do – a game or two every season. So just, just some things like that that are coming down the pipeline already just next week. Uh, a lot of stuff to already talk about. 
Definitely. And we will do the deep dive into that starting next week. Uh, for this week, we're going to keep it a little light. This is kind of a get to know you. So Logan, uh, for those who may have forgotten, or maybe we have new uh, audience members, before we dive into your bio, let me tell you really quickly. There are a number of ways that you can get this Treasure Valley prep cast each and every week. Uh, you can, if you want to listen audio only, uh, I think for a lot of people, that's kind of the preferred style, you know, mm -hmm. while you're in the car driving to work or you're, or you're working out, maybe you're on the treadmill, whatever's going on. It's, it's an easy listen. And so you can listen to this prep cast by going to idahosports.com and across the top of the homepage, you'll see all these different things you can click on like schedules and scores and game streams and those are all things you should definitely click on and check out but what you're looking for is prep casts and from there there'll be a drop down menu with all of our different prep casts and you can click on treasure valley prep cast and that will take you to the page where uh the player's already there you just hit play and and the prep cast starts you can also download this podcast on your favorite uh podcast catcher whether that's apple spotify google etc you know i have an android phone it's really old you can tell um <laughs> in uh, on android it's called podcast addict that's how people download their podcasts so uh the easiest way if you're going to do that if you're going to listen uh, on your favorite podcast catcher each week is to just subscribe if you hit that subscribe button uh, it's automatically going to get downloaded into your right. feed every single week. You don't have to go searching for it. It's it's one less thing you've got to worry about. So uh, I've subscribed to all of our IdahoSports.com prep casts and everybody else should as well. Yeah, definitely. Come come join us. Listen to us talk about your favorite athletes, your favorite teams. Uh, give them the publicity that they deserve for sure. Definitely. Uh, and then there's also uh, two ways you can watch. We we do provide video coverage of our prep casts each week as well. If you want to see what's going on with us, what we look like, uh, or Logan, I, you know, I always say you've got one of the best backgrounds in terms of <laughs> studio setup here because you've got all these awesome pictures that your kids have drawn or colored uh, on, on the wall. So if you're watching the yeah. video, you can see that. I have this little shelf right here and it's got a lot of good stuff on it, but it just is just cut out. Like I love these little, uh, these little helmets, right? These little, I have my little Panthers helmet and, uh, you know, my little vandals. Anyways, the, those are, <laughs> if you're watching, you just saw some cool little helmet. I think those are cool, but anyways, you know, we should, uh, it, this will never happen, but we should get like, um, all the high schools, to like kind of give us a helmet or give us a um yes a mascot head you could be like lee corso when you're picking the games yeah that's just... what i want i, I want to <laughs> put the helmets right here like the, the game of the week right where we have the two helmets coming at us coming at each other or two different logos that we can put up or whatever it is um you know I, we do have a pretty good um this year i feel like we collected a lot of great um swag from some schools as we went along we, we got i got uh, we got lapway hoodies Got some Melba shirts. Um, got an Oakley shirt. Um, Coal Valley Christian. Coal Valley, yeah, cool. That that one's that's my favorite hoodie. I think right now is that Coal Valley hoodie. So that's my uh, go-to. Yeah, definitely a lot of cool swag going around. And uh, but like you said, Brandon, that would be would be that would be nifty to have the the two schools battle it out. <laughs> for sure so if you if you want to see the video every week uh, you can go to the idahosports.com youtube channel or facebook page and then we've got that every week for you now we don't do this to hear ourselves talk we don't do this for the free swag although i will admit uh, we are a little shameless in that but the, yeah. <laughs> the the reason we do this prep cast every week is to uh promote the great athletes the great students the great people in the state of Idaho and, and then the coaches and administrators as well. We want to shine the spotlight on maybe some of the biggest stories, some of these athletes that maybe you're not familiar with. And I really think by having it be a five, a all the way down to one, a conversation, those paths will intersect a little more. You know, a lot of times in the five, a four, I, th I think they're kind of in their own bubble, uh, especially because it's all pretty much contained to the Boise Metro area, right? You have a couple of outliers like, like a Middleton or a CUNA, but for the most part, it's all right there in the city. And so it's easy to kind of just pay attention to that and not really know about what's going on at notice or Parma or wherever. And so I, I think this is going to be a good crossing of those paths and, and a blend where 
you know, maybe a Meridian fan is going to go, wow, there's actually some really cool stuff happening at Melba this year and, and vice right. versa. Yeah. And, and, and I think that that's a great thing. There was a lot of great athletes at the 1A, 2A, 3A level that could have competed at the 4 and 5A level. And so for each other to hear about one another, learn about what's going on out there, um, don't just turn us off after we stop talking about your group or skip forward to hear about your group. Listen to everything. Listen to us talk about those kids um, in a different area and learn about them and learn about their stories and, and what's going on in other places. It'll make you look smart, right, when you can go and you can talk about, you know what, if you live in Boise and you're a, a Capital fan or whatever, if you can talk about, oh, did you see that council? You hear about that council notice game last week? Like, yeah, you're going to look smarter. So you might as well just listen in. Uh, find out more in, in the, you know, water cooler banter that not other, not everybody else is going to have. Definitely, and um, yeah, the the order will change. You know, we're we're typically going to lead with what the best story is. Some some weeks that might be the two A level. Some weeks it might be five A. Some weeks it might be three A. So on so forth. If anybody out there is listening or watching, and you've got an athlete, a team, a story that you feel like we're not giving enough attention to. Mm -hmm. Send us an email, Brandon at IdahoSports.com, Logan at IdahoSports.com, and pitch us ideas uh, because it does take a village. You know, we we're only two guys. We try to get to as much as we can, but sometimes there's stuff that's not on our radar, and that's that's where the fans come in. Yeah, we got a we got a lot of great stuff last year. Um, we consistently were being given great information. Think about Napa Christian baseball. They were. Um, wherever you guys are at this fall, I hope you're still here with us, but they were giving us great information, great statistics, great stories about their baseball team. And, you know, we would get other um, things from time to time, just about different players, different athletes. So yeah, continue to send that stuff in so that we can talk about them on here. If you've got something that nobody knows about, that's, uh, that's just kind of hidden beneath the surface, just let us know. Definitely. All right. So Logan Green, give us a little bio on, on yourself. You're not, we're, we're both Idaho transplants. Ni neither one of us uh, grew up in the state of Idaho. I'm from Montana originally. Logan, you're, you're from North Carolina. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina. I moved to Idaho to go to school in 2008. And um, I mean, left for maybe an internship or a job here and there, but never like fully been here since the, around then, since when I came to college in 2008. So about 14 years, uh, for the better part of 14 years, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, most of my wife's side, like her mom's side, they're all from the Rigby area. So I do have, I did marry into Idaho blood. <laughs> so I'm not a total transplant, I guess I should say. Um, so that's pretty fun. Uh, we go over there a lot, a lot of family over in Eastern Idaho on her side. Um, so yeah, enjoy being here. Uh, this will be my, I think my fourth season with Idaho sports. So um, looking forward to getting started here at another season, looking forward to uh, covering the athletes. And I mean, yeah, I don't think really people want to know that much more about me. Um, all of my sports teams are pathetic that I root for. So that's just the running joke that I have with my friends is that, that, you know, one day, Logan's sports teams will win something, but they probably won't. I mean, you just saw my two helmets, right? Like what, what's going to happen here, Brandon? I, you know, it, it's so for those that aren't watching the yeah. video, Carolina Panthers, Idaho Vandals, uh, I don't know. Vandals might. Well, look, I, I, sorry. I got one more now. Now my wolf, but this is my, this is, so I grew up, um, obviously in North Carolina, Grew up a huge NC State fan. I had season tickets for a long time to their stuff. And and uh, the the hype train is high right now for NC State. I think they were preseason like 13. That's the highest they've ever been. So maybe, maybe this will be the year something happens. But, I mean, that, see what I mean? Like nobody needs to hear all this stuff about me. Um, but, yeah, so Brandon, he's a, you know, you're a little bit closer than North Carolina. Uh, yes. Uh, so I'm from Montana originally. I, Idaho's a uh, friendly neighbor. Um, I grew up in the Missoula area and I'm actually going back to Missoula next week for, uh, an, a season opening game between Coeur d'Alene and Rigby. They're meeting up and, and playing in Missoula, which is going to be kind of fun. Uh, I live over in East Idaho. 
Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not plugged into what's going on in, in the Treasure Valley. But that's why we have you, Logan, as kind of our expert, because you live over there and you, you're you able to see coaches and athletes uh, on a more personal level than I am. I'm kind of watching from afar, if you will. And I guess since we were doing sports show and tell, hold on, let me let me and then I'll tell you a little bit about my favorite team. So hang tight for a second. But while while I step away, Logan's day job it's like mine. We both are full-time employees at idahosports.com and Logan is our sales manager. And, uh, you're the guy that keeps all the lights on. <laughs> you're the guy that, that, uh, you're the, uh, the engine that makes this <laughs> car go. And so if anybody out there is listening and interested yeah. in, in helping us help provide better coverage to Idaho's high school athletes, um, you can get in contact with Logan. Yeah. I'll just give you my quick little elevator pitch here. If, if, if we got to wait for Brandon to go get his favorite sports team stuff, it's probably some Red Sox, something like that. But uh, anyway, yeah, so Idaho sports, I'm sure you've seen. We've got lots of different options. This coverage that we bring that you're listening to is free, right? And, uh, you know, the content's free, but producing it is not. So we would love to have, if you are interested in sponsoring your team as a power booster on the website. So, of course, we do the scores and schedules for all the teams, you know, we got baseball, soccer, volleyball, everything like that. If you want to have a nice little banner on your school's um, schedule pages, they also go on the printable schedules, the name recognition, lots of different options on the school level. Just give me an email. It's Logan at IdahoSports.com. And we can even go up to being like a, a sponsor of our Treasure Valley game night that we do for football and basketball season. Just a lot of different options. If you're interested, again, just reach out to me, Logan at IdahoSports.com. Um, even just down to like supporting a game that we're going to be doing. If you see your team on the schedule and you just want to throw in yourself a, you know, a, a, a small little shout out during the broadcast, just let me know. Like we can get that in there. Um, anything down to even that level, just look at the broadcast schedule, look at your team's page, if, especially I always don't like seeing them when there's nobody that's on a team page. would love to have more people on supporting their schools. So again, Logan at idahosports.com. If you're interested in doing that, we'd love to have you on. For sure. All right. So here's what I've got. I think I've shown at least this first thing a couple of times in the past, but this is my my official jar or little container of, of field dirt from Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox, uh, Major League Baseball team. That is by far my favorite baseball team. So do you so keep that in the basement? Yes, that's uh so my like where my, the red where like where the Red Sox are currently sitting in the basement. Oh man. Is that where I, I was just curious. It wasn't <laughs> meant to be a pun or a dig that said my Orioles have now jumped you, but since we're here, I guess we're here. Yeah. So um I I do have them in the basement because my office is in the basement of our house. But um I got I got to go earlier this summer to Fenway Park and Camden Yards um in Baltimore as well. Those were by far my two favorite uh ballparks I've I've been to so far. I got to see uh, the house where Babe Ruth grew up in Baltimore, just down the street from Camden Yards. And mm -hmm. I got to see the warehouse and and where Ken Griffey Jr. hit a ball off the off the warehouse during the home run derby in the nineties, which was pretty oh, cool. Oh right. Over the the blue or not the See, I always say Blue Monster because the Durham Bulls, that's where I grew up. Yeah. Minor, they have a wall just like it, and they call it the Blue – over the Green Monster, I should say. Yes. Yep. So, so uh, yeah, Bal yeah, Baltimore and, and Boston were pretty cool. So, I've got – yeah, for those that aren't watching the video, I've got a little jar, a container of official – That is pretty cool. Official field dirt from Fenway Park. And then kind of made a big purchase this last year as well, Logan. I am also now an official – um oh look share out. shareholder of the green bay packers here's my official certificate and all that good <laughs> stuff so nice i am one of the uh thousands of uh owners of the only publicly owned sports franchise by personal favorite the green bay packers as well and so. but you get nothing in return for it, is that i'm not trying to be like literally like, no value attached. there is no like incentive it's just to be there's no dividends there's no there's nothing like that that comes from it but that is i would love to have the chance like it's a great idea, right? Because people are – who would – if the Panthers did that, I would buy it. You know, I, I would eat that stuff up. Like I saw that, you know, they're take, they're re renovating Holt Arena over in eastern Idaho. And, you know, if I was an ISU fan, I would – I want one of those seats, you know, from the arena. Like that stuff, I love that stuff. Like a, a row of benches from a baseball park, just something that, would you know, I would definitely buy a share in my team if it was available. That's – uh. That I think that's one of the best 
things in professional sports right there is that you can own a piece of it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. My uncle owned uh, owns a, a share of the Boston Celtics, actually, I guess in the 70s. Um, they sold off a couple of shares. He owns like one share, so it doesn't mean anything. But when they tore down the old Boston Garden, uh, he got one of the bricks. They sent him one of the bricks oh, in awesome. the mail, which is which is kind of cool. So yeah, yeah. no, that, that that stuff's awesome. That's that's great. I thought yeah. I saw somewhere too that they might sell some of the goalposts from Rafton when they they took down the old <laughs> ones. And I, you know, if you're an Idaho Falls fan, that would be a great little momentum to have. There's there's lots of them out there that that could be done even here in idaho but uh those are some i think you got me beat than my um my amazon helmets so <laughs> right for sure so um we're, we're big time sports fans if, if you uh, haven't noticed we're i don't know this is typically the schedule for us we we call a game friday we watch at least a football game Saturday and Sunday. Yep. And during the week, you know, I'm always checking in on the Red Sox, even though they are in the basement. I'm always watching college hoops. Uh, we're, we're sports junkies, which means um, we're kind of in a good line of work, I guess. So could be worse places. That's for sure. <laughs> Definitely. So, hey, each and every week we're going to be here giving you District 3 content, 5A all the way down to 1A with uh, the Treasure Valley Prep Cast. All right, Season 2, Episode 1 in the books, Logan. You ready for Season 2? Yeah, I'm ready to go. You know, next week, like you said, we can do a deep dive, look at some stuff. You know, like we said, right now, there's a couple of there's a couple of titles to defend. You know, you think of just a, just a little glimpse into the future. You know, Fruitland, right? Girls soccer defending champs from last year. You got Horseshoe Bend looking to defend their volleyball championship. A lot of good stuff to look at here in District 3 uh, next week and talk about what we can expect for this fall season. Yes, and also uh, to get your preview fix, go to idahosports.com. We once again have embarked on providing a preview for every football team in the state. We're about 75% of the way there. We're going to get the last batch of teams in over the weekend and by next week. All the football teams should be up on the site ready to go. We're going to have statewide boys and girls soccer previews, a statewide volleyball preview, and also a, a statewide cross-country preview coming at the end of August as well. So all your preview stuff, all in one place, idahosports.com. You definitely want to check out what's going on. Honestly, just save it. Save it in your tabs. And uh, that's like kind of the first thing I do every morning. I hop on idahosports.com. I see what's going on, and it's a good way to start your day. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way to start, especially here in District 3 with so many teams going on. Um, it's, you know, during the fall, there's so many games. Winter, there's so many games. Same thing with the spring. Just go check the scoreboard, see what everybody did. It's super easy. It takes like five seconds. You can see what everybody did last night just to check in to keep tabs on everybody. And, you know, obviously not yet. There wouldn't be any scores there yet. But when you come to it, you know, might as well check everything out and see what happened the night before. Definitely. All right. Well, season two off and running of the Treasure Valley Prepcast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's like riding a bike. We'll, we'll figure this thing out. For Logan Green, I'm Brandon Bainey. We'll see you next time on IdahoSports.com.